Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 69. Nice. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, this is it. This is our final live stream. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, this is pretty much the last legs now. We got four more videos to record today. Uh, and also, today should be episode 69. Let's go! <laughs> so uh, today, we're going to be playing uh, more Forza 2. Starting off with Suzuka Circuit, Sunset Peninsula Infield, Miguelo Autodromo Internacional. Seabrain, <laughs> Maple Valley, and Road Atlanta. We're taking the McLaren F1, and this is for the Class R2 World Trophy. Let's go. All right, Suzuka. This is it. We are on the last legs now. We have 14 races to do today. Uh, we've got six in this championship, and then a endurance race with our two cars. Then we're moving on to the R1 event. Priest. No. Thank you very much. The engine's quite nice in this car, but it's nowhere near as nice as um, what's it called? The other car we had the other day, the McLaren F1 GT. I will admit, this is a very nice car to drive. Lovely car. Yo, Mag, what's up? Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. We got six laps around Suzuka now. This is fun. I like this car. I am doing good as well. Thank you so much for asking. And uh, glad to hear that you're doing good as well. Yet again, flipped over in Rivals time trial. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, uh, Forza going off-road like that is sometimes really fussy. In fact, really is an understatement. It's very fussy. Oh, shit. I spun. Does this game have the BMW M3 GTR? Uh, it does. It has the race version. Um, so it's a race car. Uh, it's not like the Need for Speed one, though. It is the actual race car model. Uh, which is fairly similar. But it, it's not identical. Uh, to my knowledge, I'm not sure.
Not bad. Uh, I can't. Because uh, for this championship, we actually have to use an R2 rated car. So um, we have to do... Uh, what's it called? We have to use either this or the Maserati or... Who's the other car? I think it was a call that. Not 100% sure. But the BMW is an R3 rated car, so we can't actually use it. Race body... Yeah. Race body kits would be nice, but... I see why they don't have race car parts. Oh, I've spun on that curve twice in a row now. Twice in a row on that curb. Keep spinning out. This car definitely doesn't like that curb, that's for sure. Oh no. Yes, let's keep attacking Sir Fallen. Get rid of him. <laughs> Attack the simp boss. Be gone, thought. Not bad. I will admit the engine of this car is beautiful. It's such a phenomenal engine. I think they actually ended up putting this into a, a BMW, like a BMW X5 or something like that. Not 100% sure. Also, it's very warm today. Let's see if we can do this again without spinning out. Yeah, we did it. I've got the hang of that corner now, so I don't spin out every single time. It's basically just stay away from the fucking curb. <laughs> it's fairly simple. But, yeah. Does the job nicely.
Not bad. We've got one last lap to go. It's really good that um, I've gotten to play this game and I can officially say that I have finished Forza Motorsport 2. Not yet, but that's what I will be able to say at the end of this stream and at the end of uh, this series as well on YouTube. Tires lost grip and then just stuck. Here we go, going through 130R. Very nice run through there. And, oh yeah, I forgot the uh, finish line on this is further up. There we go. Across the line. That's race number one of 14 done for today. 12.04. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Sunset Peninsula infield. Woohoo! I do love the look of the golf livery on this car. Beautiful. Hold back. The time has come to don't hold back. Oh, that car in front's already got engine damage. It's now behind. Oh, God. Got a... Not bad. <laughs> Time has come to world. Time has come to My finger is on the button. I don't even know what the Chemical Brothers are classed as because they make like... They make dance shit, they make... 
It's weird. They're an odd band. I'll be honest. Yeah, variety genre band. It's sort of why I don't like him that much. I can't. I can only listen to a couple of tracks, so you know, it's not. A, I'm not a fan of variety when it comes to a band. I like to know what I'm listening to. So, Aquaman. Did that go off? Yeah, it did. It just sounded extremely quiet, and I was like, did it actually get picked up? And I look on OBS, and it did, so it's all good. <laughs> Aquaman! My finger is on the button. My finger is on the button. I wanted it to whisper in your ear. <laughs> Aquaman. Aquaman. Give me the wig, Johnny. Aquaman. I'm not going to lie, Galvanize is one of those tunes that is just a vibe. There's no other word for it. Oh, also, Glitch, um, your tweet that you put out earlier, I obviously responded to it, but uh, Paradise might have an update next week. Oh, awesome, awesome, uh, Matrix. Uh, yeah, your tweet, I saw your favorite music was uh, Three Days Grace. Fucking good choice. <laughs> Absolutely good choice there. Animal, I have begun. <laughs> Which, by the way, I think there's uh, two Three Days Grace songs in this playlist, so that might come on in a minute. Vroom, vroom, my finger is on the button. My finger is on the button. Put your hands up for Detroit. I love this city. This is like the ninth time you've come into my chat. <laughs> done media share. And just not done anything. <laughs> Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Yeah. They're obviously not my favourite, because I put Biffy Clyro down as my favourite. It's sort of my favourite at the moment. But, um... They are a really good band. Really good band. Put your hands up for Detroit. I love this city. My Xbox just made a funky noise. Oh, 
Ah, oh, now that's how you do that. Flat out through the chicane. We are on to the final, final step stretches of this game. I can't even speak. We're on the final stretch. We don't have long left to go. This is our final Motorsport 2 stream. No worries, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by. Put your hands up. Put your hands up for Detroit. I love this city. Hey, yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Not bad, we got one more lap after this. I haven't got a uh, I haven't got a glitch at the moment. I I've been having so many mind glitches; it's unreal. I haven't got a drink at the moment. <laughs> I will run downstairs after this race and grab one. Put your hands up for Detroit. I love this city. We got this. This is it. This is it. I'm gonna be racing. This is it. This is it. I'm racing around a track. This is it. This is it. I've caught up with the Nissan. <laughs> I'm always around, so you got a glitch when you need one. <laughs> that is brilliant. Ah, it's a smoke screen. It's a goddamn smoke screen. I went all that distance with no damage. Oh, and it gave me penalty for that as well. Shit. Not ideal. All right, here we go. Mugello. Uh, what was the race that you just did before this one? Uh, the race I just did before this one was... Was um, what's it called? Thingy, thingy, you know thingy. Uh, Sunset Peninsula, that's the word. 
My mind is on one today. <laughs> No one knows. Whoa! I've been sent into the bin. Oh look, there's another golf McLaren there. No worries, Cotto. This thing's crazy fast. surprisingly stable around this track actually so quite enjoyable so if you complete every event once uh, by the time you complete level Pretty much all of them bar the last four events, as long as you're doing them in order. Uh, you will finally unlock the last level 50 events. I think that's crazy. Not bad. This is looking good. Dreamy, what's up? Sorry, unfortunately, we've got paid for media share only here.
Ooh. This thing's quick. So it's getting up to about 170 miles an hour, I believe it is. Approximately. 165, 170. The thing is, I'm very much risking it going that far into the red line because obviously if you go too far like that, you hit the limiter. And the limiter is just beyond the 8,000 mark and I am trying to hit it just beyond the 8,000 mark when I shift up. So I am like right on the rev limiter every time I'm shifting. But I'm pulling it off 95% of the time. The only time I'm not pulling it off is uh, when I'm going heading up to a corner or going around a corner. That's normally the one time I do over rev it. Like them. Help me pick a racing game. Help me help you pick a racing game. Uh, what kind of game are you looking for? Are you looking for like an arcade action packed experience? Are you looking for um, open world, closed racing? Are you looking for a simulation experience? What are you looking for? And what's your budget for it as well? That's probably a good idea. bad. Come back in here, I'm pulling it off. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on about, um, my shifting time. Basically, I'm pushing it right to the rev limiter to shift, which is never a good idea. <laughs> but I'm pulling it off. Good graphics, realism. Open world would be nice, but the cars need to be as realistic as possible. Assume I'll only ever buy one racing game. This racing game will be make or break. The entire genre for me. VR support will be nice. But it will be with a controller and not a racing wheel. Uh, okay. Well, Forza Horizon 4 and 5 are out the window because they're not good graphics on PC. They look like a dog has shat all over your monitor. Um, that is tough because nothing suits all of that at the moment. Cars need to be as realistic as possible. If you're looking for realistic cars... Forza Horizon probably is the closest at the moment on PC. Um, Project Cars 2 is phenomenal in terms of visual quality. It is a, a realistic game, but it's not open world. It has VR support. But I am not sure how easy it is to drive with controller on Project Cars. Because um, the one experience I did have with Project Cars on controller, I wasn't very good at it. 
Um, again, that could be different for you. Assetto Corsa is an absolute ball ache on controller. Hands down. I don't think anyone should play. If it doesn't feel real, I will not like it. Yeah, then I think your best option is probably Project Cars then. But the only thing is it's not open world. You'll have the VR support, which VR is mental in that game. It's not too expensive. There are a pretty decent list of different cars that you can experience. Uh, the quality of Project Cars 2 is mental. And it's good. So, yeah, I... I still recommend Project Cars 2. The only thing it doesn't tick is the open world box. Um. The only other game that I could possibly recommend is F122. That's got a fairly realistic feel. But again, that's F1 cars, so it doesn't have... A wide variety, so that's why I'm trying to stay away from that one. I know Project Cars is definitely better on wheel, so yeah, give give Project Cars a go. Project Cars two. Not bad. Uh, give me a second, I'll have a look. See what I can find. Hey, level 50, we got 50 gamer score, woohoo! Let's go. Right. Another racetrack. This is race number three now. Oh wait, no, race number four. I think. I've lost count, actually. You have variety, but that's sort of more favoured towards a rally enthusiast rather than a, um, what's it called? Yeah, it's the only one that I can recommend that might be all right with controller the only thing is you're not willing to buy a sim wheel yet so it's very difficult to find you a good game with realism for controller that feels good to use it's just you either go for the sim route and you just bite the bullet and buy a sim wheel or you play arcade games with controller it's very difficult to find a simulation experience that is fairly accessible to play. Forza Motorsport is one of those games that you can play, but Forza Motorsport you can't buy, unless you buy a key from Eniba. Um, and... Yeah. Gran Turismo is the only other one, but that requires you to have a PlayStation. And that doesn't go on sale, so it's really expensive. And neither of those have VR support. Unless you buy GT Sport, but that's shit. So. Yeah. It's definitely good, but you'll have to experience Project Cars, see what it's like. Trying to hold the controller with one hand.
There we go. But yeah, if you use that link, Fallen, I should uh, take you to the site. Just search for Project Cars 2. I can't send you a link to the actual product page because some of them don't work in the US. So it should base it off of your location anyways, which ones will work. Yeah, that's fair enough. It should do the job pretty well. And I mean, for $5, it's not... It's not like you're spending full price on the game. To then not like it. You're actually... It's, it's only $5. It's not something substantial. That it's the end of the world. That's why I like getting stuff when they go cheap on, on Enerba, because... Like, there's physically no point in me spending full price on something that I might not like. So, if I spend $5 on something... It's $5. It's not like I've spent $80 on a game and been like, Ah, oh, fuck, I don't like this. And then you fucked. <laughs> I really want to look into getting um, Modern Warfare 2, but it just really can't be asked. I still can't believe it's been a year and a half since I bought my... Oh my god, look at the sunlight on the back of that car. I still can't believe it's been a year and a half since I bought my PS5. No worries, Fallen. Not bad. This thing is taking these corners really nicely. I love Sebring. It's one of my more favorite tracks. I'm glad it's in the uh, Motorsport series. Because this is going to be one of the more enjoyable tracks. I am not looking forward, though, to uh, Motorsport 7. Because they added a lot of lesser tracks. And a lot of them were pretty shit. And a majority of the tracks in Forza Motorsport now are American. Like the last Motorsport game, I think like 50% of them were American tracks. And uh, newsflash, majority of American tracks are pretty bad, with the few exceptions. Sebring being one of them. But that's because like, it's fairly wide. And it's more based around, like, cornering speed. It's got a variety of corners. So it actually, you know, seems pretty good.
Watkins Glen's alright as well. Don't get me started on fucking, uh, what's it called? Willow Springs. That can fuck right off. How the hell did I lose that? That is baffling. Okay, sure. I forgot we got front bumper damage when we came off the line earlier. Gutted, mate. Gutted. Fucking gutted. Ah, shit. Is there a reason to not recommend Project Cars 3? Uh, because it's shit. Basically what they did is they merged, added some arcade aspects to the handling model, which made it really good for controller actually, but really poor for wheel support. So maybe that could be a more recommendable game for you. Um, but the only difference is the performance in terms of graphics is horrendous. So whereas Project Cars 2, while looking pretty good, could run at an average on my system and a majority of systems at well, whatever frame you want. Um, typically the Project Cars 3 performance is about half. So my VR performance in Project Cars 2 is 90 plus. Um, so it was always locked at 90. Uh, but for Project Cars 3, it was really unstable going anywhere from 30 to um, 60. Which is really poor for VR. Um, even if you account in the fact that you've got a more powerful graphics card, you'll still only be looking at 40 to 45, maybe anywhere up to 80. Like, it'd be somewhere around there. Nothing that I could recommend if you're looking for VR stuff. So... In terms of gameplay as well, the um, actual events are fairly challenging. Um, some of them are just ridiculously more difficult than they should be. And there's no way to turn the difficulty down. Um, because those ones are based off of uh, time events. So, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend Project Cars 3. Because it, Project Cars 3 has definitely turned off a lot more people from racing games than actually, you know. Thing is, I would recommend buying it on... The thing is, you know a game is bad performing when I would much rather buy it on a console than, um, what's it called? On PC. Yeah, it's more like uh, the older Need for Speed Shift. It is like Need for Speed Shift handling, which is pretty odd. All right. Third attempt. Third time's a charm, as they say. Hey, here's the Three Days Grace songs. I 
can't escape this hell. Oh, you bull bag. Okay, everything is fine. It's just cosmetic damage. Should still be able to drive. Yeah, I haven't heard this one in, in a good few months. So what if you could see the darkest side of me? This uh, was on... I, I believe it was on SSX snowboarding. But I know it was definitely on Sean White snowboarding as well. It was an absolute tune on that game. It wasn't. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, this was definitely on uh, Sean White snowboarding though. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There's my wing! I've hit my wing! Oh no! My poor wing! It has broken! <laughs> They made a 2012 game? Hello there. That hello there is not working at all, and I need to figure out why. The darkest side of me, no one will ever change the side of me, why I think I'm... I don't care how bad the singing is, it's fucking fun. <laughs> Not bad. This thing's stable. Might have to look into getting that then. To be honest, it probably took him forever to program it for um, PS3 because of how dodgy PS3 was. Uh, I will have my drink in just a second once we're on a main straight glitch. This is uh, a song from Wipeout, specifically the Omega Collection, but still, it's a tune. PS3 was actually a really powerful system. It had an 8-core processor in it, I believe. Um, the only thing is, um, it was the architecture that they used. The cell architecture was so bad, um, yeah, I don't even know how to say it. It was just so bad. Oh, PS3 is it... So, PS1 is fairly simple. PS2 has its challenges. But it's not too bad because it's a fairly simple thing to, to emulate. It has its problems because of the architecture on the PS2 was pretty difficult. But we've sort of... With powerful systems, have been able to do it. Now, PS3... If you don't have an 8-core processor, you're not emulating any of the PS3 shit. At all. 
can guarantee you that. It is so difficult to emulate for PS3. Even now, it's still difficult to emulate for PS3. And we've we had PS2 emulators for how long? 10 plus years now? PS3 emulators we've had about the same time. Yeah, so six cores is probably going to struggle. Mine wouldn't do it. I've wanted to emulate some stuff, but there's, there's no point bothering because, you know, it's got to do the job of a graphics processor and a CPU in just the CPU. So, yeah, I'm not setting fire to my CPU today or any day. <laughs> wow. There's no antidote. Don't stop, turn that up, take it higher. <laughs> I'd have hands turning up his stream tomorrow just like Mac, my PC's dead That there's no antidote, go, 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 go. There, there's no antidote, go, 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 go. Oh, slip and slide. Let's get it back. I need to look. Um, I want to research if it's possible to use. Um, what's it called? Two graphics cards in a PC um, probably should have thought what I was gonna say before that I know it's possible I want to see if I can do it get a like a lower-end graphics card like a 16 1660 or something like that stick it in my build um, with a new motherboard and everything and see if I can use that new graphics card as a rendering device so that when it comes to like OBS and stuff like stuff like that. Um, yeah, when it comes to OBS, I can use OBS strictly on that lower end graphics card because that way um, my main graphics card is free for like PC performance and shit. Because I know there's a way you can select what graphics card is used in OBS. So I want to do some research. Because if I can just select a separate graphics card. And use a separate graphics card for like video rendering. Then happy days. Because my CPU is never a bottleneck when it comes to like streaming and gaming. It's not really too much of a bottleneck that it's a problem. It's more the graphics card. That's what I need to research. If I need an exact copy. Um, I have seen systems that have had different GPUs. But I don't know. Because I wouldn't be using them as identical at the same time. They wouldn't be used as a combined effort. Um, they'd be used, like, separately. So one graphics card would be solely for the computer, like, like it is now. And then another graphics card would basically be reserved for... Um, literally OBS. Anything necessary for stream, like OBS, my video editing software, stuff like that, will be reserved to the 
other graphics card. So that way, when I'm rendering videos, I can still use my PC. Because at the moment, I can literally only watch movies on my PC while I'm rendering. Because it uses, like, my whole thing. OS would struggle having two different GPs. Yeah, that's why I need to search up. Double check. It's still a long way down the road. It'll be a year before I have that plan in place. It's just, I, I don't want two PCs. Is the problem. So if I can have it so that I've got a more powerful CPU, but two graphics cards, and it means that when I'm playing PC games, it doesn't affect my PC gaming performance too much because all the OBS tasks are on a different card. I would much rather that than, um, what's it called? Two separate builds. If I have to have two separate builds, I will. But obviously, I would much rather have one build. You know. Because as soon as you have two different... Ooh. Use laptop with 3060 for streaming. I'm not spending the amount that it costs for a 3060 in a laptop. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> to get a 3060 in a laptop is like two grand. <laughs> All right, here we go. Road Atlanta. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, another problem that I. Why I want to avoid having a um, dual PC build is because my streaming PC will have a worse off graphics card. So it's gonna have a lower end graphics processor that's just. There's no point in me buying a 30 series or anything like that for a streaming PC. Um, the only thing is, when I'm recording, I would then want to edit. I suppose I could still edit on the recording build, like the OBS build, and just edit on a second PC. I got your money. Oh, no. I got your money. Feels like I'm coming alive. Thing is, though, if I did decide I wanted, like, files transferring between the computers, I would have to set up my second PC as, like, a... Uh, what's it called? A file server or something as well as being a gaming PC uh, as well as being a streaming PC Wow, wow, my phone keeps going off. Somebody wants to get into contact with me. Uh, 
can offload to my CPU and overclock 2900X. That's fair enough, but still, the performance of Project Cars 3 is that shit. I would not recommend it. No matter what, it's so poorly optimized. There is a reason why so many people reviewed it so negatively, especially on PC. Like, if you're okay playing a racing game at 60 frames a second, then by all means. Yeah. It does look pretty good. But that's because those screenshots are pr more than likely taken at a much... Uh, lower frame rate. You know, if you're if you're wanting to do like 144 hertz gaming, the only game Project Cars 2 will do 144 hertz easily. It will hold a stable 144 hertz while you've got like 30 AI cards, no problem. Project Cars 3 will dip below will probably be anywhere from 40 to 80 frames, depending on what's on the screen. So, even my PC, like, obviously yours is more powerful, but mine's still a pretty powerful PC, and it struggles with Project Cars 3. It's so, such a disappointment. But yeah, Project Cars 2, Project Cars 2's graphics are actually pretty similar because uh, a lot of the car models were basically just copied from I need solid 90 FPS to work with VR. Yeah, you're not getting solid 90 in Project Cars 3. Not at all. Not in VR, definitely. Um, Project Cars 2 holds a stable 120 for me. Um, wow. Not quite stable. Sometimes it drops to about 100. But it holds a stable 90 for me. So yours it would be easy to do. To hold a stable 90 frames. You probably hold a stable 120. With your graphics card. Beep. My minimum threshold for VR is 72. Because 72 is the most that you can see with... Um, in terms of like individual frames below 72 you can actually see the individual frames most of the time above 72 it's more down to responsiveness was this in Gran Turismo 4? Uh, not in Project Cars, it's not enough. Uh, Project Cars 3, sorry. In the third one, that is not enough. <laughs> to hold a stable 90. In the second one, yeah, easy. Well, fair enough then. Um, I sort of know this from, uh, what is it? Most Soul Arctic Edge, so that's why I added it, but there we go. We got a song that overlaps on two, two different video games. can go with the flow ba -na 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 -na. do you believe it in your head whoa nearly lost it oh uh. Almost getting to the end of episode 69, by the way, chap.
yeah, see, Project Cars 2 is a fairly optimized game. It's Project Cars 3. Specifically Project Cars 3 VR that just completely bottles it. Mine runs at 45 frames a second. Which is ridiculous, because Project Cars 2 runs at a stable 90. Beat Saber runs at a stable 120. Pretty much every first-person shooter game in VR runs at 72, no problem. So how does Project Cars... Project Cars is on the same level of optimization as VR Chat, And everyone knows how bad VR Chat is. In fact, I think VR Chat runs at about 60 on my PC. And occasionally drops down to 40. Project Cars 2 is more stable at 45 than 60. So, you know, it's, it's probably worse than VR Chat's optimization. Too busy focusing on chat. <laughs> it is a shame. And it is weird because Codemasters obviously bought them out and then they made two really shit games with that studio. them shelter like you've done for me. Give them shelter like you've done for me. That's it. Episode 69 is done. <laughs> nice. With my penis. Hi, Glitch. <laughs> it's like Glitch's introduction. Just Glitch likes to say hi in that way every time. <laughs> nice, we got Ferrari and 126 grand. Woohoo! Oh, this is that one with the... Yeah, it's this one. This one was fun. We used this on the last race of uh, Motorsport. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.